I think that uh, the European Union has been very clear in condemning the violent and in terrorist attacks against Israel. Israel has the right to defend itself in front of this aggression, but it has to be done in line with international humanitarian law. This is part of a common statement with our Gulf countries, partners in Oman. It is also the agreement of the foreign affairs ministers who fixed the position of the European Union with respect to such a conflict. And in this statement we said clearly that we are against any attack against civilians. And that protection of the civilians is of utmost importance, always, on all sides, everywhere. And about this uh, warning of the Israeli army for the civilians living in the north of Gaza, certainly civilians must be pre-warned. The Secretary General of the United Nations has said that, and I join him in saying that, yes, it's a good warning, but the warning has to be realistic in order to avoid devastating humanitarian consequences. Yes, there is a deep worry about the deteriorating humanitarian situation in Gaza. In particular, due to the shortage of water, <coughs> food, and medical supplies, fuel, and electricity. As uh, the Secretary General of the United Nations remembered it, and I said after our meeting in Oman, creating a, a blockage on water, food, fuel, and medical supplies is not in accordance with international law. And we support the United Nations efforts to help to alleviate the situation including by encouraging the creation of humanitarian corridors and allowing a space for much-needed humanitarian aid. It is perfectly compatible with the strong condemnation of the terrific attack that Israel has suffered from the part of Hamas. We will further intensify our engagement with all regional actors and with key international partners in order to provide as much protection as we can to the civilians.